Well, good afternoon, y'all. It is Thursday afternoon. It is June the 3rd, and it's probably about 4 o'clock. I don't know exactly what time it is because I don't have a watch on me, and I'm using my phone. So, um, But <clears throat> I just want to have a little discussion about bullying and being an adult. I'm a member of an online group called Lexington, Tennessee's Online Yard Sale and Trade. Okay, it's a public group, and lately I've been posting on there that I was doing uh, readings, intuitive readings at or in Lexington, pretty much. Um, because at first I didn't really know where I was gonna set up at, but um, I knew that I was gonna be going to Lexington because I felt like that area um, had a very a very uh, a good amount. Of enlightened individuals and I felt I just felt called to go there so I did and while there um, I started doing my readings out of a little coffee shop called Jitters the very first day I walked in there I stopped and talked to a little redheaded girl that was sweet as could be she always brought me my coffee and was super sweet and I made sure that I gave her you know um, good tips and she was just really nice and I had asked her if I could go in there and meet clients and um I gave her some business cards and they laid them on the register or on the counter by the register okay my business cards plainly state psychic medium okay so then now they had to know okay well after I was there for like two weeks, you know, every other day for two weeks, I posted the day before, no, I posted yesterday on this buy, sell, and trade group that I was going to be there. Well, lo and behold, some of the little, the little church people, I guess, got upset because I'm evil and I'm a witch and I'm terrible, terrible, terrible human being. I'm just awful. They got on there and they tried to tear me up. This is the second time this has happened. The first time I got over 300 comments on my post. Okay. Well, this time I got like over 600 comments. Double what I got. And my YouTube channel got three or 460 views so yay me great advertisement but anyways that's not what i want to talk about i want to talk about bullying because these people were horrible horrible if you cannot be nice to somebody on a post move the hell along you ain't got a comment there ain't no reason in the world your fingers got to get to typing on that keyboard. Just pass it on by, okay? I promise you, that is my tip for you. Your life will be so much better. Because, you, you know, you just pass it on by. You don't care. Who cares? Move on. Well, <clears throat> okay. Speaking of moving on. I want to talk about the way the, uh... Bullying got really out of hand. It really did. It was terrible. They attacked me. Um, and I had several people stand up for me and take, take up for me. And I appreciate that so much. But to the people, to the one lady, I think uh, I wasn't going to name no names in my video. But I'm going to go ahead and name a few. There's one called Terry McCormick. And I want you to know, honey, you want to know anything about me? You was doing screenshots of my Facebook profile and asking me how come it said Nashville? Well, I grew up in Nashville, honey. That's where I'm from, okay? Nashville girl right here, born and raised. Nash Nashville, you know, like the nations. The west side. Yes, that's where I'm from. Born and raised, honey. But when I was 14 years old, my daddy moved me to Hickman County. Why? Not sure. But I got an education and I graduated from high school from Hickman County. So if you want to know anything about my Hickman County times or my Nashville times, you can ask me or my mama or any of my family if you want to. We'll all tell you the same story, honey. I ain't got nothing to lie and I ain't got nothing to hide. There ain't no reason for me to lie. None. At all. And then secondly, to the 
Miss, uh, I don't remember your first name, but your, la your middle name is Maddox, and your last name is Gustafson. Gustafson. For you, darling, I want you to know that any time you want a reading, you come see me. And the same thing goes for Miss Terry. Y'all want a reading? Y'all want some proof? I accept a challenge. I actually present this challenge myself to you. You come see me. And let's make a video. And let me do a reading on you. Because see, baby girl, I ain't scared. I know that when I stand in front of somebody and God gives me my gift and he puts me in front of them to do what I need to do, I'm going to get what I need. So I ain't scared not to do it. Anybody want to challenge me? Hey, let's roll with it. And the second part's the or the third, fourth part. I've lost count here now. But the next part is the intimidation. I'm going to tell you right now, you ain't going to intimidate me, baby. You ain't going to scare me. You ain't going to run me off. I'm here to stay. I'm going to dig my claws in. So whatever y'all want to throw at me, come on. Because you're not going to stop me. And I'm going to get plenty of other people behind me. And they're going to stand with me. And you guys are going to have to change your way of thinking. It's called enlightenment. We do not live in the 1600s. And we don't live in the 1950s. So y'all need to get it together. If you don't allow your kids to bully, don't the adults be bullying either. Because who are they looking at? They're looking at you. So make an example of yourself. And present a good one. Not some redneck, whatever you are trying to present. There ain't nothing wrong with being redneck. I'm a redneck. I love country. But I ain't got to be ignorant. Okay? So, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Remember, spread kindness, kindness, spread love, and spread some positive good vibes. I know I'm not spreading none today, but I've had a whole lot of dirt thrown at me. And if any of y'all want to see it, just go to Lexington Online Yard Sale and Trade. It's a public group. You can go into it without any problem. So, I want y'all to know, I love you, I believe in you, and I'll see you later.